Hey Flashtube, welcome back to Basic Stitches. I'm Jordan and I'm on Instagram at Jordan X Stitch. And I'm Jamie and I'm on Instagram as Jamie X Stitch. And we're back again. We're being consistent this time, which is good. We are. <laughs> um, we wanted to say thank you so much for all the comments about dad. He, Marty, he, <laughs> <laughs> he very much appreciated that. <laughs> so I have read to him all the comments um, my, uh, <laughs> on my head's getting cut off. That's just weird. Uh, <laughs> last week's video or two weeks ago, you know, our last video and about him, 90% of the comments, I'd say actually 99% of the comments mentioned him. <laughs> mentioned him and how funny he is. And he is a funny guy. He makes me laugh. And your guys' comments, he loved him. They made him laugh. It was fun. The funny thing is, so Jordan texts me. She's like, video's up. And him and I were watching TV, so I just put the video up on the TV because to see him. I wanted to see everything. That's when I realized. we definitely missed one. Yeah. That's when I realized that we missed one. You had seen it when you were posting the video. Yeah. And that we were oblivious to him going past us and everything. And we were laughing like it was so funny. But then the funniest thing is, is all of a sudden he just turns and looks at me. <laughs> and he's all shocked. And I'm like, what? And he's like, I'm on YouTube. I'm going to be YouTube famous. <laughs> <laughs> and he just like. Oh no, he was funny. He was laughing. He's had fun with it. It it was fun. He's a goof. <laughs> we are glad that we have a little uh, creeper stalker guy to be in our videos. Well, and then I don't know if anybody, if you followed me on Instagram, I posted a picture of us walking into TJ, TJ Maxx Max, which is after. Right. What's that one? There. That's showing up. Because we right next to us is a Zupa. Cafe Zupas. Yeah. And we went and sat out in the patio there and ate dinner and fed Marty. <laughs> and then right through the parking lot is the TJ Maxx. So, and we come out of the restaurant and was walking towards TJ Maxx this way versus going back to the car. And he was like, where are you going? And we both turned around at the same time and we're like, TJ Maxx. <laughs> and he just, <laughs> And then here he comes just following along. He like, he, he just really, follows just around the whole store. But then he's we got to the dog going. section. Because we just wandered around the whole store. So we right. got to the dog part and I started looking at things. And my dog only weighs 14 pounds. Mine's like 11 or 12. And she's not super furry. She's very skinny, scrawny. She's just long. Um, and so like I've been kind of worried about winter with her because she already freezes she just shudders. when we have the AC on. So I grabbed a couple sweaters and stuff for her. But then dad starts picking up all these toys and he's like, would Polly like this one? I bet Loki would tear the crap out of this one. My dog destroys toys. And he just like starts shopping along with us. It was very funny. Especially for the dogs. If, it's, yeah. if, if anything other than that, it would have been for the grandkids. Yes, the dogs and the grandkids. He'll buy anything and everything he's for them. He's their priority. Um, but my was... dog and my husband have a love that like no other. My screen keeps flashing my face. Sorry. Um, so thanks for all the comments about that. He appreciated it. Yeah. Um, we had one question this week that we saw <laughs> from Dottie and it was, are we in the back seat of the car? Yes, Why, we are. Yes, we are. My car is right there, but we're in the back seat of mom's car because if you're new, um, we live about an hour and a half away from each other and it just makes it way easier for us to get together and do videos and mom helps me a lot with model stitching and everything so it makes it nice that we can swap Pass things, things and back and forth. I live within five minutes of a TJ Maxx, a Home Goods, and a Marshalls and mom lives kind of near 10, a TJ Maxx, 10, 15, 15 minutes, minutes away. And it's not as well stocked usually. Nope. So I also have to give her all the ray done that I find. It's all back there. Yeah. <laughs> um, she shops for me. She's my done hunter. Yeah. <laughs> but we. My personal done hunter. Everybody should have one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. I just get paid the cost of what the item is. I'll start charging a service Delivery tax. fee. 
Um, but we, it's easier to meet up this way. And then once the weather starts getting bad, we'll have to do, um, Skype videos more often. If it's a storm, if it's, if the roads are dry and it's like, mm -hmm. even though it's winter, we can still go. It's just yeah. if there's a storm. Okay. That's all for that. We also have business meetings after we film videos. Yes. We plan. They're and very fun. And there's lots to plan because stuff's changing. I don't know when stuff will be announced, so I'm not going to announce it, but things are changing. Not, not just with me. You'll understand when it gets announced, but I can't be the person Why to share that. Why did I'm something? sorry. <laughs> be looking for an announcement. Um, <laughs> anyway. Okay, I brought a previous finish because, oh. because it's fallen off. Um, no, because you got it back from road trip. I got it back. It went to Texas. I missed it so much, but I also have finished it since, like, we did a video. Yeah. yeah. So, it's so cute. this is Tricks and Treats, and um, it's the October Gingham and Plaid. It went to Buda, Texas with Fat Quarter Shop for um, a couple weeks, and now it's back along with all of Spooky Hollow and Autumn Avenue and Haunted Hill Road. And it's kind of sad to me every time to know that my cross stitch projects have gone places that I haven't gone. I know. <laughs> like, I, I need to go now. But, um, last time I did it, I had only finished the circle. I hadn't actually finished, like, all of it. Yeah. So, but this is how you're going to display them. Yes. So, I'm going to explain kind of how I did it. This is a circle plank from the wood connection. It comes unfinished. And then I painted it with white, just acrylic paint. And then I sanded it to make it not quite as white. And then I went over it with um, Min Minwax is, I think, the name of the, the brand. The brand. And it, it was provincial, no, it's provincial gray, but it wasn't the gray one. It was cla classic the brown. The walnut? No? No, I think it was classic brown. You can list it below. Yeah. Um, it's the one I always use, but I don't know the name of it. And then... You probably should remember. So this is actually... It's a clip from Hobby Lobby. And when I got it, it had this big, like, blue flower thing on it. And I, I needed just, like, a clip like this really badly. So I went with that one. And I pulled that all off of it. And then screwed it on with just a random like screw and washer that I had. So then I attached, when I finished these, I put felt on the back um, just to make it look a little bit cleaner and to take care of any like loose threads. But then I attached, this is a ribbon from Michaels? Yes, I believe yeah. so. She was shopping several stores the day she chose um, that one. And it's just burlap and then has the candy corns on it that are kind of sparkly. So I folded some to Make put the on the back. Yeah, for the tab. And then I wrapped some, like, I did a big loop. And then I took a smaller piece and wrapped around it to make it have, like, a good bow shape. Because to tie a bow, I can't do it with wired ribbon. And then it just clips right on. And then I have That's just cute. a little um, stand that it sits in. What, what are those called? Like an easel mm -hmm. stand? So, I like it a lot. So do I. I. I really like more simplistic, clean finishes around my house. Um, and so I like the way it, it all out. looks. Candy corn. I so love do I. Well, I don't love candy corn. I. A lot of people said to eat it with nuts, and I have not tried that. But oh, I like to make the trail mix yeah. with it and put it in like but the candy nuts corn and is very cute for pretzels and stuff. It is. So that's it's, my previous I don't, finish. I don't know. I don't mind it. I, I guess it doesn't really have flavor. It's just sugary it's to me. It's honey. But it's wax. It's the flavor. It's too waxy. I. That's my thing. But I don't know. I, if I'm it's not available, lie. I snack on it. Yeah. But then I look at it and I'm like, why am I eating this? And then I continue to eat it. Yeah. yeah. That's a thing. Um, but that's Tricks and Treats. And it's available from Needlework Stores and in my Etsy shop. I have stitching. You have stitching. I have 
one item of stitching that I can show. So, okay. I have some stitching. Not on this. This, all I have is that I moved the fabric so I can start the moon. Oh, well, I have, that's what I have stitching on. Where but I moved my... the fabric. That was progress. I shoved everything in my little bag again, my little tote to bring. So now I need to find my, the cover page. They just released part four today. The right, well, and I gotta find it for the right week because and I, I have was the weeks previous previous in here. This is where, okay, so this is part three. Fright Night, yeah, that's the part three. So it was part one, Halloween, and the spider and web. Part two is the moon and the bat. Part three is this upper haunted house. So, Oh, I gotta take. Oh, dang it! Did you show yours? Show yes. yours. I I didn't realize I saw my. Again, I <laughs> moved the fabric. It, yeah, it was really impressive. So and the cute bags. I think we showed that last time, right? Yeah. I did the bat and started my moon. And I'm gonna fess up right now. The moon somewhere I goofed up because obviously I outlined it. And when I got down here, uh, there's, it's too, too many. So my moon's going to have a flat bottom. It's fine. Mom also sent me a picture and said it's flipping me off. Oh, I did. Because <laughs> <laughs> the middle spire. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, my mom laughed at it. If, my, if I can send that and my mom laughs at it, I'm good. So, anyway, that is... Fright night, and I had to move mine, so I did put a little piece of felt on mine just to protect those stitches. Yeah, I have felt on mine. Too. So it's fun. I need to get back to this. I, I, oh look, and I was so excited. I did my nails, and my nails. I'm like, oh, they coordinate with my stitching. <laughs> Cute. Um, but I've been model stitching, and I cannot show that yet. We'll get there. And so that's. That's all I have for as far as stitching goes. So I'm sorry, that's not a lot. So I told mom last night that I was determined I was going to finish this before we filmed today. But it, I love this so and much. So I didn't. So this is Bloomtopia. It's Fat Quarter Shop, and it was. I love it. Um, it was a free chart with a request donation. for a donation to Make a Wish Foundation. They've announced the one for the upcoming, and it's serendipity, and it's very cute. But all I have left is the green there and the green there. And I love it. And I'm very excited to, it, to have it done. I'm using the whitewash board fabric, um, 28 count, mm -hmm. I believe. And I'm using all of my colors from spring. Or is it 32? I think it's 28. No. Oh, okay. Um, and I'm using all of my colors from Spring, spring Street, Street, which is my spring seasonal house row season there's a sun and I can't block it so oh. it's gonna be back here there you go there we go oh I love it I love the colors I I've said it before yours is my favorite mm. I like it's mine my but you too. seeing how you did your border because you, the border is um, multicolored yeah so I'm just doing it green so that and it's, then doing the center thing so it's like a flower mm -hmm. and, and I I didn't do the border on mine are you debating it now and I'm debating it I got to decide how exactly what I'm finishing it on and that will tell me size wise if I'm going to do that or not I like the border I think the colors are cute and everything I didn't want to do all the floss changes because I'm lazy so I just decided to do it green um, no but I like but that. I also had run out of this green which I believe is gentle art green apple so I'm using baby spinach and I was really worried at first that it was going to be too dark um but I think it looks fine it was too dark when I had only done one corner no I think it looks but fine. then once I had started to like do more and even it out it looks a lot better yeah but I love it and so I have I. no idea how I'm gonna finish it and I bought fabric to finish mine. I just I haven't it. like to coordinate, correspond with it. I just haven't done it yet. And I model stitched and then I mailed the model stitching to mom 
because yeah sometimes we don't meet in the middle because it's way cheaper to send a package than it is to drive and spend the gas well and the time yeah sometimes i mean time is valuable dang it like i if i gotta be doing something or you gotta be doing something it's like just drop it in the mail we're close enough that I'll get it the next day. Yeah. If you get it in the close So, to I was model stitching and then mailed it to mom and then she was model stitching and I was charting. So, that's all my stitching. Her business is a team effort. Yes. <laughs> but, I was really good at shopping this time. Oh, I, well, I had commented last time about all my stuff um, that I, orders I had. And, yeah, what, when they would come in the mail, I would open them up and then I would, I had this, like, my... A basket on my kitchen counter that's supposed to have like fruits and vegetables or you know in it and I had cleaned some of them out and apparently haven't bought anymore anyway <laughs> I just um, collected all my sh shopping in there it's fine so I think I'm gonna start with that one hey we got some of the same stuff yes we got a lot of the same stuff speaking of fright night okay I swear hey, I hey, ordered these last time but I guess I never like submitted the order but I definitely added them to something. my cart and went to check out but I checked my bank account and like nothing's there and it hadn't shipped so I was very confused Where did but my oh there's one I ordered again and of course back quarter shop is really good at shipping things very quickly right. so 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 this what was that <laughs> this. I got the pumpkin and I ordered the pumpkin as well and I'm dropping everything because these enamel um, needle minders are, are really so nice cute and they're very nice yep and I ordered that and did you I did not order that I forgot I got the or I would have I love him and then I didn't order those either. I also got the I'm failing these and it comes with 20 and honestly i love the plastic that these are made of they're nice i probably honestly won't use them for this project this halloween project because the weeks, weeks dye works is already on, on it but i will for sure be using them for other halloween projects and then the other ones we happen to like are the thread drops yep and there, I, the one thing I like, well, I, I don't know. I like the big hole. These are like, um, are they like cardboard or plastic? No, these are cardboard. That's okay. the thing. I think the fat quarter shops are plastic, right? Yeah. So see. I haven't opened them yet. I, I mean, them. I've, I've, what I've done is I've been putting, um, my DMC on these lately. Yeah. Instead of bobbinating them. Which is what I will be doing as well. And I did that for the pumpkins for sale and loved it. So speaking of thread drops, Kay, the, she is one of the sweetest people in the world, Kay. Like, Kay. Uh, Kay, Kay. <laughs> she's seriously one of my favorite people in the world. But she has done a lot of model stitching for me and helped me out a lot. So I asked her to model stitch. What was it that she did? What? The, oh, it was um, the stitchery. No, the, the last stitchery. spooky hollow. I asked her to do that and I gave her the floss. And it was just all the floss I had been using from stitching the whole series. The series previous. Um, and I had my DMC. I had cut index cards in like thirds and then used a hole punch to make my own thread drops. And just write on it. They're not the greatest quality. And I know that. But they work. But Kay said when she gave it back to me, she she always includes like candy and gift wrap set for me and stuff, which is just the sweetest. But she also um, put some new thread drops in there and I have been using those and it's very nice and I appreciate that. She's cute. Her and her husband are seriously the kindest people. I they They're just fun. We love them. They're on a whole nother level of just being great. So is that all your order? Okay, so yeah. I also in my order from Fat Quarter Shop got some floss, different flosses. This is for two different projects. So there's Classic, oh, Gentle Art, and Weeks. One of them's One of a them's, model stitch, yeah. but so for me, because you mm -hmm. were started it, so I didn't think I was going to get it. I still don't know if I'm going to get it or if I'm going to have to stitch it again. 
But anyway, with that one. Oh, I thought you were stitching yours on a different fabric. Possibly. So I was planning to keep that one. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then that one, um, some of these will be for my version of what I want to do for serendipity. Yes. So we are all for doing serendipity, right? Yes. But we're all for doing different. So far. And it's going to be really I'm excited fun. to see them all too. And then I also, because I love charm packs and I, this, the fabric on this one, seriously, sorry, noise. I got to show you guys. If you have not seen the Bonnie and Camille Moda fabric. The colors are so, so pretty. The colors, the gray, oops, I missed there's the green and there are different patterns navy the pink the reds and the aquas like i love them it's pretty much mom's colors oh like, to the t i actually don't know why i only ordered one because and what i'm going to do with them is my table runners and um end tables and stuff like that and so but I think I need another one just for the for as many places in the on the fireplace and not like all the places I want to put it. Anyway, I think I need another one. So hopefully they have it. Can you get this? Yes, that's somewhere in my pile. I literally this morning going to work at six o'clock was throwing things in. Thing. I'll show the package. You show them up close. Okay. So that's the floss fix that we're both in the club. And I think John Lynn Weeze is in the club too now. Um, and this one is the October. And it's magic black. And it has hickory sticks and sticks and twigs, which those are more the browns. But then cauldron, black coffee, blackbird, and caterpillar. Caterpillar's kind of a brown too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I think, yeah. No, oh, that's cauldron it is the gray. Yeah. So it, but those are seriously good, nice, practical colors. I'll use them. It's nice to add to my floss stash. And it's nice, like, I like these for charting because it gives me, like, what they them. look like to actually see the floss versus, like, what just shows up on the computer. Right. Um, we both also got that. Oh, did you put yours in a bag? I did because I'm extra. Well, <laughs> you're just bougie like that. Anyway. Take me to Waffle Stop. Not Waffle Waffle House. Waffle House. <laughs> oh, Waffle Stop is the little one in Syracuse that we never went to. So, oh. So this we both ordered and received. And it, I don't know, to receive it in the mail. And my daughter comes in and she's like, Mom, you got a package from Italy. Yeah. And I'm like, sweet, what is it? And I, I'm like, I have no idea what it was. And then I opened up and it was this. Because I ordered it from... Her Etsy store. Yeah. But it didn't come in a bag. It, I mean, it's just in the paper. I just used one of my bags that I stuffed Did my Did you bring in. me a bag? No. Because I'm a jerk. You're but a jerk. it's really pretty. Just kidding, you're not. And jerk. then I also, I've already gotten this, but I don't think I've shown it. This was Halloween goodies. It's also Madame Chantilly. And I love it. I also ordered from Modern Folk Embroidery, in case you guys have not seen it. It is gorgeous. This picture doesn't do it justice on the printout, but one day I will get to it. One day. I love it. I was like, I have to get it. I just have to. Is that all your haul? Nope. Oh, you did do good shopping, didn't you? Oh, I see what you got. I finally got my... <laughs> Your mail key? Mom knows about it. <laughs> no, I found the mail key. I didn't I even know. get a new one. I know. Um, So I finally got my... What was it? Mystery Halloween. It was from Down Sunshine Lane. Down Sunshine Lane, yep. So it came in the canvas bag with the... That's probably... Pleather. Pleather, yeah. Um, bottom. I'm not bougie. I don't know the difference between leather and pleather. To feel them. But I got a few different things than mom did. So and I'll show them the whole kit. Yeah. Though. In our last video, mom showed hers, so you can go there to see it. 
So it came in this the bag. Same bag. Yep. Um, and then it was the same flosses. Which they're so pretty. Yeah. This mascara is my go-to Weeks Dye Works Black. And then just, what were the others? Purple Majesty, Clockwork is the orange, and Daffodil is, it's like a very limey green. But they're very Halloween, like those are my Halloween colors right there. So that was fun. I like floss a lot. So do I. And then, I think that's why I do such like simple fabrics most of the time. It's because I like the floss and like that to shine. And I know everybody's different because I see st some stuff on other fabrics and I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Like, yeah. But when I'm putting it together, that's how I see it. Yeah. Um, these are the Dinky Dyes candy corn scissors. Definitely. And we all know I love candy corn as decoration. <laughs> um, well, it's a Halloween. That's decorated yeah. scissors. Yeah. This is a candy corn, what was it? Crazy ornament. Ornament candy corn. Um, by Kitty and Me Designs, and I love it. It look honestly, it looks very fun to stitch. It does, and it was an exclusive for Down Sunshine Lane. It says yes. So if you want it, go to Down Sunshine Lane. I don't know if it was exclusive for the kit or exclusive for just their store, but yeah, go check it out. So then I'm gonna pull out my charms so that they're easier to see. Um, Those are yeah. I didn't pull mine out of the bags to show. I got some orange Krynik. And mine was a silver and a black. Yeah. Like mixed braid. Um, this is a little boo boo and a little rip. And then Oh, he's good and creepy. <laughs> that was oh he's good and creepy. <laughs> well he is. And then I got dad, our little creeper. <laughs> oh, oh, your dad's not gonna like that. <laughs> Everyone just called him our creeper, and it was so well, we funny. called him, we're like, what? I think we said, oh, creeper, when he was going past yeah. us. He's so funny. He was kidding. he was at work today when I left, so he didn't get to come with and be the creeper. Um, and then these That's were, the yeah, some pins and a scissor fob. They're cute. I love the cat sitting on the moon. Mm -hmm. And then this was honestly my favorite part. I got a little ghosty. Look at how cute she is. Mine was freaking sad. And I'm surprised you still have it and Lacey hasn't got it from you. Lacey hasn't seen it yet. That's why Lacey hasn't got it from you. Yep, Lacey will not get to see it. And she's got like little candies in her basket. It's so cute. It's very cute. So that was my Down Sunshine Lane mystery bag. Nice. I also ordered from 123 Stitch because that's all I do is just buy stuff. It's so easy to do, isn't it? So this is Vinnie Von Fang. I was gonna try the Lizzie Kate. It. And I love it. It comes with all the little accessories you need to finish it. The like the buttons and stuff. I think it's cute. I want all these. Oh, and then this is Betty Broomstick. And isn't she so cute? I love her little plaid dress. And then the broom and everything that you need to finish it. I love that it comes with all that stuff. Um, more floss. More floss. Some of this was also for a chart that I may be model stitching. Colors. Um, and then uh, others. This is baby spinach because I think baby spinach is just an excellent green. And has good variegation in it. Um, and it's will be part of my my serendipity because i'm doing the same colors as oh i haven't said yet nope I'm not say. the same colors as me <laughs> <laughs> no but and then i got a piece of um 16 count country french latte usually i've bought the mocha which is, has a little bit more of a taupey brown to it and this one is the latte um and it's a good creamy color I couldn't I'd had it in the past and I knew I liked because I love the country French they're because they're soft and I just completely enjoy stitching on them and I wanted to find an, a fabric that I really enjoy stitching on because I'm thinking I'm gonna start some of do some prairie schoolers on this so I was just 
checking it out. I couldn't remember if I wanted to do like this color or if I wanted to do like the French lace. The French lace is a little stiffer. I do enjoy the softness of this. I thought mocha might be a little dark for what I wanted. So I just got this to just see the color and see, and I do like it, it's just a good cream. And I think, I mean, compare the white sticker or the white edging, and I think white would show up well on it. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Where was that other? Oh, it's on the floor. Um, this is this is a white. See, I think it, a white would show up on it. I think it's dark enough. Yeah. Don't you think? But I think most any color would show up pretty well on it. So that might be a prairie schooler thing because I, I just wanted something that I really. They're, they're, even though I love prayer schoolers, but they're kind of more dense stitching. And I really wanted something that I really like. You know? Some fabrics you like more than others. Or you enjoy more than others. Yeah. So, there's that. When I'll start it, who knows? Okay, and then this is the last thing of mine. Was that the last of yours? Yeah. <laughs> so, this is a little different. I've never done anything like this before. There's a company in Hyde Park, which is like right next to mm -hmm. uh, Mom, called Adorn It. And That's they, where the headquarters is, is right next to me. Yeah. So they posted this pillow, which that is hand embroidered. And I just thought it was so cute. And I made a snap decision. And so I bought the pattern. And so, do you iron that onto the fabric then? Peel and stick onto background fabric. Oh. So, it it uses sulky threads, which is fun. Yeah. Um, they've been, they have, they've been doing a lot of, with sulky threads. It uses back stitch, stem stitch, straight stitch, satin stitch, running stitch, and French knot. I think I know how to do all of those. I think you do too. Like, it's just, it's very cute. And I love it, how simple it is, but how, I love the unevenness of the lines, honestly. I think it is so cute. It makes well, it look more haunted. Well, for a haunted, haunted house, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to try that. You'll do well. And I love it. It's so cute. So. And you told me you ordered it, and I didn't see it, and I wonder if they have any left. Because it is really cute. They have been doing a lot of stuff. They, so there's a Facebook group you can join for Adornet. I'm not in the group. Oh, you're not? No, I just like the page. Oh, they have all. I'm they have like group. three or four different pages because they have. Oh, they have all kinds of stuff because they have fabric. They have cross stitch stuff like paper stuff. They have um, like the coloring. What's the pink color stuff? They have that. Um, they have embroidery. Lots of different embroidery. Oh, that was bright. Um, lots of different embroidery stuff. They have quite a bit, but they're Adorn It. Mm -hmm. um, I cannot think of what Adornit.com, I think, is our website. And I can it's Carly's Creations. It's, uh, yeah, but the anyway, they have a lot of stuff. Yeah, they used to have scrapbook paper and stuff too. They do. Okay. Yeah, they have paper crafting and embroidery. Yeah, they're it's lettering. Not a lot quilting. They have fabric. I want to say there was one of their, one of Kathy Haberman, one of her finishing that she used some of their fabric. I can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway, because I remember thinking, hey, it's up the street for me. Well, I, we've gotten some table runner stuff from them because they'll do like occasionally the <laughs> loud. Occasionally they'll do like um a table runner and you get the pattern for free and then you just pay shipping and you get the um the fabric, the fabric and they'll send it to you. Yeah. And so we've done that and yeah, they're great. They've got a variety of stuff. If you're just a general crafter, you would like their stuff. They they haven't done cross stitch. They've done embroidery. Yeah. Um. It's time for giveaways. Okay. 
I was waiting for you to say something else. <laughs> okay. Um, so we don't have them with us because I forgot to bring them. But we do have them still. It's okay. So we were giving away the chart for pumpkin for sale, which is the fat quarter shop. Is that Lori Holt? I think it's fat quarter shop. Okay. Um, and then Fright Night, the fabric and the, the Ada fabric and the DMC packs. Yes. The and we had packs. two of each. So the drill is when I say your name, it'll show up here on the screen. And then you email us at basicxstitches at gmail.com. Give us your address, your mailing address, and we'll get it in the mail to you. And the previous week's giveaways, I um, got them packaged, but they will go out in the morning. It's taken me a minute, and I've collected addresses it's kind of and busy stuff. Week. It really has. Um, for pumpkins for sale, number one, we have Jessica Jimenez. Congratulations. And Kathy Morrison. Congratulations. You both got pumpkins for sale. It's a very cute pattern. And it I'm is. very upset that I haven't started it yet. So I've been model stitching. I haven't been able <laughs> to get back to it. And Mom's on the blue fabric is, I love it. I did that in aqua. Um, and then for Fright Night, number one, we have Lacey Sinner. Congrats. And number two, we have Ruth Flott. Um, and last week we had asked you guys For to share bright a bright spot and Ruth mentioned that she didn't really have one that week because she had lost, um, someone close to her that was 19, which is way too young. And, and so sorry for your loss. Sorry for your loss. And hopefully this will be a bright spot that our random number generator really wanted you to win. <laughs> so Congrats, you guys. Email us at basicxstitches at gmail.com. And then we have giveaways for this week. I have a question. Do you have a question? I was going to ask you to come up with a question. I, I was going to put you one. on the spot I again. came up with it at work today. <laughs> wow, you are really prepared. I planned ahead. Okay, number one, we have Hey Pumpkin. This is from a Fat Quarter Shop. This was in the Stitch Quarterly. I've started it, um, and I love it. I need to do more on it, but this is the just the pattern, and we have two. So if you want to win this one, I have the number one in your comment. And then number two, two is Prim Stitch Four. This is kind, kindness and, and generosity. generosity. And we have four. Four. So say number one in your comment if you want Hey Pumpkin. And number two if you want kindness and generosity. But what you're going to comment is Do you listen to podcasts? And if you do, Hopefully, some of them are true crime or something entertaining. Mom's looking for new true crime I podcasts. need new podcasts. <laughs> so, and me and the girls at work, we were searching today trying to find a new podcast to listen to. So, if you listen to any podcasts, um, if you don't listen to them, just comment that you don't listen to any podcasts. Um, I suggest trying it. They, Some of them are really great. And it doesn't have to be true crime. If you just have a really good entertaining podcast... But uh, me and the girls at work, we tend to listen to, to true crime together, and then we kind of talk about them, and it's fun. So, I know a lot of people probably listen to Fiber Talk. Yes, with uh, Par. Yeah, I just went blank. Gary. Gary. Um. Um. Do you have some to recommend? Well, yes, that's what I was going to do. I don't have my. So. I gotta find some that I've really liked. I'm Paper Ghosts is one I've heard was good. That's one we're gonna listen to. I do listen to Court Junkie and Crime Junkie, but I like podcasts that like are a whole season that is like one thing and it just evolves, you like know. Cold. Yeah, Cold was such a good podcast. And the thing that's disturbing is I'm saying how great these podcasts are. Ultimately, it's horrible and sad. 
they're just very well done and very good at the storytelling. Right. And just the and there's more information than what, in them than what I got off the news and things. So the cold was very close to us just because it was literally here in Utah. Yeah. Um, Susan Powell is what that one was about, and it was put on by KSL. Um, there's a lot by Wondery I've liked. Um, the Vanished. I've also listened to Up and Vanished was really good. Yeah. That yeah. That I haven't but, listened to that one yet. Atlanta Monster. I just listened to that one. Um, I want a friend. Oh yeah, I've listened to a lot of Wondery Guru, Bad Batch, The Dating Game Killer, Down the Hill or Up the Hill or whatever. That's one. No. That's one that Stacy keeps trying to get me to listen to. She loves True Crime pro podcasts. No. Oh. Well then, she needs to give me some. Okay. I'm sure she could talk about them for hours. <laughs> Bear Brook was another good one. Right now we're listening to The Teacher's Pet. I could go on. Serial was good. Yeah. Most of the podcasts I listen to <laughs> are done by like YouTubers that I watch. Or Oh, I got one of those too. It's Bailey Sarian. She's yeah, a YouTuber. Bailey Sarian is so she, great. She, she does, does makeup. Murder Mystery Makeup Mondays. I love it. <laughs> Which I'm that obsessed. reminds me. Okay. So here on Floss Tube, Pam, um, Pam's Crafty Corner, is doing Coffee, Crime, and Cross Stitch podcasts. I think she has two or three out. You got to check them out. You got to listen to them. Um, Pam's Crafty Corner, but it's a, I think she posts them differently, and it's Coffee, Crime, and Cross Stitch. There you go. So, and it's like podcast-ish type sounding, you know, she's stitching and... Yeah, I'm obsessed with her. Doing she's true great. Crime. Yeah. Um... And then I listen to one. I like to listen to like self-help podcasts basically when I get ready in the morning. Like it is uplifting. So I like the Mindset Mentor. He has some good podcasts that are like, they make you think. They are really positive and stuff. I enjoy them. That's I know that's thing. not everybody's cup of tea. But. Well, not true crime's not either. True and crime listened... seems to be more people's <laughs> cup of tea. Everyone's obsessed with. Well, this. I think it. I don't know. Yeah, I have a hard time with some true crime because I get too much anxiety over it. I but can see that. I also... also I listened to Susan Powell and that one. Cold. Yeah, the cold. And honestly, I really liked it. Because the storytelling was really good. It was done very well. But I just was like, but where is she? Oh, I know. To this day, I want to know. I want her family to have peace. I want them to know where she is and them to be able to put her to rest. Like, it's it's sad. So, anyway. Podcasts? podcasts. Share with us. If you listen to them. Um, um, tell us the genre if it's not obvious. Right. Like, yeah. if it is true crime or self-help or... I know my, one of my friends just listens to, like, comedy. storytelling. A lot of people. Um, Joe comedy. Rogan. Yeah. I, I love Joe Rogan's podcast. He just moved to Texas. Yeah. Every time he has Elon Musk on, I have to listen because those two talk about things and I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> Elon Musk's brain is in a whole different plane of everything from normal people, I feel like. Um, but yeah, I, I like podcasts. I don't realize how much I like them and how much I listen to them because so many of the people I listen to are just like YouTubers that do a podcast on the side. I listen to them. I've even, so, cause I listen to them at work while I'm just sitting at my desk working. And like I said, then me and the girls will talk and discuss like what we're listening to. Cause we all like kind of similar stuff and listen to them. Um, and then, but there's been times that I've been home and I've been stitching and my son's been watching TV and I'm not interested in what he's watching and well, basketball's over, but anyway, he, you know, I'm not really paying attention, but I can't get a podcast out of my mind. So I go out to and get my AirPods and stick them in my ears so I can listen and stitch. And I thoroughly enjoy that. I listen to him in the car. I also, I also listen to a lot of books. So, I have a friend that podcasts. listens to like storytelling podcasts and stuff. She is like an English major so that's just she listens to all these and it's basically like readers theater audiobook stuff but it's not like on a book it's just 
a script that they act out, but audio wise, mm -hmm. it's almost like listening no, to the radio back in I, the day. <laughs> I, it is because I listened to a podcast that was like that. What was uh, okay? My eyes twitching because I'm like I gotta find She's it. She's excited. Her eyes twitching. I gotta find it. Oh, see Jenna and oh man, oh man in the window was a good one. That is the um, Golden State Killer. Oh, uh, what was it called? I will find it and I will comment it in down below. Oh, did you know there's this one, Zion's Lost? And it's if for you Utah people here. It's all about true crime things that happen in Utah. That that girl that went missing in Cache Valley that was 15, Audrey. Was it Audrey? I don't remember that. No, Trisha. Trisha Audrey. Anyway, there's it's on there. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, oh, and this one's not true crime. Sorry, I could go on forever. Um, Imagined Life. It's also by Wondery. But they do the storytelling in like, what is it, third person? Where they're telling their own life story. They're going through their history. And at the end of the story, they reveal who they are. Oh, Stacy told me so about So the that entire one. time you're listening and trying to figure out who it is. I listened to one that was like Jane Fonda. I've listened to um, Muhammad Ali. Um, I can't even think. Or maybe but, it was you that told me about it. I don't know. I've listened to several. And that one keeps me entertained. Because you're always guessing. Going, oh, I heard this about this. No, it's not that person because this happened. Or trying to figure it out. It's it's. I like that one. I can't remember that one. That story one. I'll put it in the comments. I'll find it. Wow. Okay. Give mom podcast recommendations. Please <laughs> entertain um, me. And then include number one or two. One or number two. And we will let you know the winners. You're like Vanna White here. Um, when, when are we doing a video next week? Well, it's either next week or two weeks. Yeah. So within the next it's, two weeks. When is our retreat? That's in two weeks. Yeah, I'm so excited. We're going on our basic bunch retreat. Just the four of us. Actually, five of us because my sister-in-law. Yeah. We're not hosting yeah, some retreat or anything. And there was people that come in to say have fun on their retreat. Yeah. I honestly wish that we could bring everyone along. But like COVID. And also... I'm going to be honest. I don't want to plan one. <laughs> I, I love to attend them and I appreciate yeah. the people who put I them on. I will pay. But I... Because the people who put them on put in so much work. I mean, going to Minnesota um, last year for Midwest that was, was so, fun. so fun. And like, you could just tell how much work, not even like, I have no idea how much work it was, but like, you can tell that a lot of work went into right, making right, it right, what right. it was. Um... And I'm so sad that this year's got canceled, but COVID. Yeah, and we can't go next year. We're seven months in, and I'm ready for it to be done, but, you know, it'll end when it ends. Um, but and then also Snug. Snug Harbor Crafts, and Debbie and Kef put on such a phenomenal retreat last year for, especially for their first retreat. It was like, Stitch West. Yeah. I would have never known it was their first retreat if I didn't know it was their first retreat right <laughs> but and then that one got canceled this year as well because kev had her baby and he's so cute and covid and covid so we're having because all the retreats got canceled we're doing our we're own. having our own little we just five girls weekend yeah sit in a condo go walk along the in the mountains because we'll be in the mountains it'll be yeah. cold it's fine it was 32 degrees this morning when i went walking and i was dying we are rambling now. Yeah. It's getting cold here, and I'm not happy about it. But. Sweater, jacket. Yeah, at least now it's to the point where it's not cold in the morning and blazing hot in the afternoon, so I don't have to have an outfit change. <laughs> it was that way for a couple weeks. Anyway. Was it? <laughs> yes. I would wear a sweater to take Lacey to school, and by the time I was picking her up, I was, like, sweating, and I had to change my clothes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for being along with us through our craziness. Um, Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And comment one or two, depending on what you want to get, and your answer for a recommendation for mom for podcasts. See, I came prepared.
good job and then we will see you guys in a couple weeks um our facebook group is the basic bunch mom's facebook page is jamie x stitch my facebook page is little stitch girl and then my website is littlestitchgirl.com and my Instagram is Jordan X Stitch. My Instagram is Jamie X Stitch. And then Grandma and Janelyn are both on Instagram. Grandma's is Dan's is Grandma X Stitch. And Janelyn's is Weeza X Stitch. And I have not convinced Marty to be Marty X Stitch or my dad to be Grandpa X Stitch. Even though that's now their new names. They'll take it as a name, but not as an Instagram profile. <laughs> so. Work. Yeah. Anyway, have a great week. Happy stitching. See ya. Bye.